Hello, princesses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. I have got my Give merch on, so it is time for a video, obviously, featuring Gwen Stefani's Give. We actually have a battle of the pop stars going on up here today, plus one more. Let me tell you what we got. We got six different lip looks from three different brands. I've amassed all sorts of lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, balms, all sorts of things. And so I just kind of decided we would do them all in one video. But since Give was included, I figured I had to bring out the merch. Now, like I said, six different lip looks, a little bit ambitious for me. As you hear, I am still nursing my little summer cold, but I will be fine. And this certainly cheers me up. So let's talk about what we have. And then we have a little montage of me trying them all on. Okay, the first one we're going to look at is by Rowan. I am just loving these smaller brands lately. Let's face it, how many of you in comments are telling me that you're getting sick of the bigger brands, doing this, that, and the other, whether it's shipping, whether it's boring, um, and our newer, smaller brands are really exciting. So Rowan is one of it. They have their Kiss My Liquid Lip Balm uh, for $26. They introduced some new shades. It's not a new product, but they introduced quite a few new shades. This one has mango oil in it, and I bought it in the shade Lola, a really nice kind of everyday nude shade. So you will see that on me. Has a little bit, the Rowan, a little bit of a peppermint smell and a tiny bit of a peppermint feel. Um, and I do have a little cold. So if I smell it, it might be more than a tiny bit, to be honest. Um, let me stop this just for a moment and just kind of change gears for just a second. I meant to do this at the beginning of the video, so stay with me. I am wearing now, um, yesterday, a time of filming, um, yeah, yesterday's video will be uh, the Victoria Beckham highlighter stick. I just want you guys to know that today I took some advice from you guys in the comments and I put it on underneath my foundation. What do you think? Boy, on bare skin, it goes on beautifully, by the way. So I put it on just in the high points where you would put highlighter underneath my, um, yeah, much better result. And I think it still looks nice and shiny. So just FYI. Back to the lipstick video. Okay, here's where we get the battle of the pop stars. We have quite a few selections here from Fenty um, by Rihanna, of course. Poutsicle Hydrating Lip Stain. This stuff is pretty cool. I'll tell you already, I really like it. You'll see. Um, and you'll see it swatched as well. This is $24 each, and I bought the shades Mai Tai and Zesty Bestie. I think there's about four or five shades. It's a really comfortable lip stain, no scent or anything like that. Um, nice little easy to use doe foot applicator. I say what we want about Fenty. They seem to always kill it with their lip products. And I think this one is no exception. It is comfy. It is easy to put on. You will see, and it's super pretty. And I like the shades I got. A really kind of like magenta -y pink and a really bright orange. Um, the Majority of this video, however, and I almost made the whole video about it, but I thought I would sneak those in too, is for the new um, shades uh, in Gwen Stefani's Give collection. So originally, she had the Original Me Clean High Performance um, lipstick, kind of a matte lipstick, and the Anaheim Shine, which were her shiny lipstick, and they just came in the shade Original Recipe, which was a red, and I was all excited because I'm like, it's a Gwen Stefani red. Here's the thing. Here's why you guys are so amazing. There were many of you in comments who were like, that's a really beautiful red, Rebecca, but it's not the Gwen Stefani red. You were right. So she claims that now she is introducing old school me. Let me try that again with my cold. Old school me. Old school me. So her in the past. So she is saying this is her red. Now, we're going to look at... Um, Here's the thing that I can't quite figure out. She hasn't always had a makeup line, so she wore a brand and a shade of lipstick before. You're not fooling us, Gwen. Okay, so let's take a look here. Here is the new. Here's the shade. Here is her new matte lipstick that she says is in her shade. You guys were right. The other red was beautiful, but not Gwen red. Here is... The original one that she released that I even mistakenly thought was her red. So this one is a little bit cooler, isn't it? Here's the new one, and the new one is called Old School Me. And here is the original recipe that she introduced first, which so many of us thought was her red. It's a bit warmer, isn't it? 
So this one is cooler. Can you tell the difference there? I definitely can. And you're going to see it in the video as well. She has also introduced a bunch of new colors. The Anaheim Shine is my actual favorite. And she's introduced a bunch of new colors there. I picked up the screen, my phone. Oh, it dates them a little bit, doesn't it? If you are very young, you won't know what screening your phone even means. Me neither. <laughs> so we're going to look at that. I picked up a beautiful pink shade, a lovely very neutral pink. You'll see it on me, and I'm really pleased with it. I picked up another red. Why so many reds, Rebecca? Well, this is interesting. Extra Sauce, what I'm wearing right now, is new. It comes in original recipe, and you shake it. It's a liquid vinyl lipstick, so it's on my lip now. You have to shake it, apply it, a liquid lip, let it dry for 60 seconds, nothing new there, and then it doesn't transfer. Yep, for how wet it is. And it is not so far drying down my lips, but I will put that in comments. And I didn't realize, I actually just realized now, you know, for filming while sick, right? FWS, filming while sick. Um, that this is the in original recipe. So the um, first the first red that you'll see uh, from Gwen Stefani's Give line is actually the old school me new red. It has the word old in it and it's new. This confuses my little cold riddled brain. So we are gonna go now to one of my favorite things to do, which is to make a little montage, me trying on all of this, and I'll make sure to label it so that there's no confusion. I wanna show you me trying on all of these right now. You know, I am often uncomfortable in red lipstick for a number of reasons. First of all, I tend to mess up when I apply it. I don't like a perfectly applied red lip. I like to think I'm a little more punk rock than that. Stop laughing. I hear you guys laughing. But I do like to think I am. So I like it a little bit messy, but if it's too messy, it just looks like you put it on while driving over bumps. So sometimes I don't wear red. I'm really comfortable in this red, and I've been wearing it a few hours. It's not going anywhere. In fact, they tell you with this extra sauce that you need to use a special remover to take it off. That's why in the montage, it was the last one I put on. I might have a cold, but I still got something up there. So these are all beautiful. The Rowan is lovely. I don't have any of the other shades in the Kiss My Liquid Lip Balm, but I would like to. Those are all $26 if I didn't say. The Fenty Poutsicle. This is a really pretty, easy lip look stain. It lasts forever and through eating. $24, many colors. And the Gwen Stefani is those beautiful reds. You know, I reviewed the Lady Gaga house, and now we're looking at Fenty and Gwen Stefani. I think that the celebrity lines are getting better, but, or is it just that the technology is getting better? I've been talking with so many of you about drugstore brands that are killing it now and things like that. So maybe it's just that the industry is just getting better and better. I don't know, but I would love to hear your thoughts. Did you grab any of these? If you did, I bet it was the give, but I just wanted to show you everything I picked up lately. So definitely let me know your thoughts and comments below. Tell me what you think of this red on me and that pink that um, screen my phone, oh, so pretty. Let me know your thoughts down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I sure hope that you did. And if you haven't already done so, make sure that you subscribe to my channel so that I don't miss you all in the next video. Bye-bye.